This video is going to look at how you find stuff on your iPad. The more apps you collect and uh, the more email that, that is stored or music, TV shows, podcasts, movies, the harder it is to find specifically what you want. And I'm on page two here, page two of my iPad. But I have a lot of apps, so if I keep scrolling to the right, there are all the screens of the apps. And then as I get bigger collections, then I put them into folders. So if I was looking for a word game, I would have to remember what folder I'd put it in and what the name of that folder was. So if I was looking for the word game WordStorm, there is a quicker way to find it than scrolling through all the pages trying to find something in addition if you're looking for a particular email you can always use search to find your emails or songs you can narrow it down the search screen is the first screen on your ipad now you can get to it by with with uh, your four fingers and um, gestures just scrolling to the right till eventually you'll get to the search screen and that's the search screen searching the ipad the other way is if you hold, uh, just tap, tap the home button once, it'll start to move to the left uh, until eventually it gets you to the search screen. And then you need to put in what you're searching for. And you can put the whole thing. So I know I'm looking for WordStorm. WordStorm, I think. WordStorm. So if you know the name of the app, the more words, the more letters you put in, the more accurate the search is. So I put in most of it there and it's found that app and then I can just tap that and it will open that app for me. Close it. Or the other way, if I start to put the first few letters in, it starts to pick up anything that has WO in it. And you can see there, there's, these are the apps that have WO and it'll do the apps first and then it starts to look at emails that have wo in them so the the fewer the letters the the, the more general the search so as i start to put more in put words uh, it's narrowing down that search so i've got uh four is it four four apps that have something to do with words then there is a email that has words in it then there's a song and then at the very bottom, there's always searching the web. So if I wanted to search the web, I can do so straight from here by tapping that and it'll take me into Safari where I can do a web search. So it's sort of a, a quicker way of doing that. And it's going to search on the web. If I go back to that, actually, it'll search for the web for the search terms you put in. So it's searching for words. Uh, it's another way of, of, of searching on the, on the Internet. The more specific you are, in your search criteria the more specific your search results will be but it's a quicker way of um of actually getting to that app the only problem with search i've found is that yes it'll get me to wordstorm but it's still i still don't know where it is on here so if i actually wanted to delete that app i'm just going to have to go through every one of these till i find the actual app search will get you to to the um, app or the mail or whatever it is it'll open it for you but uh, you still have to it doesn't tell you exactly where it is on your ipad uh, how do you set up Spotlight Search? Because you can search for any and everything or just some things. So you can be, be more specific as to what you actually set up. In Settings, under General, there is Spotlight Search. Now, everything that's selected there is going to be part of the search results. And the only thing I haven't selected there is Reminders. So if I have a reminder that had the, the criteria of WORDS, that would never come up because I haven't asked it to. The order that I want the search results to, to appear, I want anything that is an application to be first and then mail and contacts, etc., cetera, um, narrowing them down. So if there's a lot of results, I want to be able to prioritize them. And you change that by just holding the handles and just moving things up and down till you get it in the order that you want. Uh, events are something on the calendar, so I might take those off because I don't need to find calendar events and search for them. I can find them by going up to the notifications panel and find them up there or just open the calendar. So I might take that one off and actually put it down at the bottom. I don't need it there. I don't need reminders. Uh, now, if I took off music 
and then went back to the search results and put words back in again because the first search that did give me a song so I put words back in and that song is no longer there there's the mail results it gives me some uh, mail results application results but it didn't give me any music because I, I asked that not to word it starts to become a bit more general I'm getting more apps now with word in them to not enough to, to make it un, unusable but the more specific you can be the better your search results the only reason I, I don't put them all in this is because I'm lazy WOR I can do it I don't mind doing a quick little squeeze through that. It's much quicker than trying to find it on the pages. So that's how you use it.